Hey, how's it going, Pokemon trainers? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle video. I appreciate you guys being patient with my uploads. Look, I am back. I hope you guys are ready for this. I have here my 10th Wi-Fi battle here in Sun and Moon against a passerby. By the name of Jace. And man, he gave me a great match. So it's an honor to have a great battle here to post to the channel. All that. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. You can dislike the video if you want. I don't really care. <laughs> um, you can subscribe for more future videos whenever I get those out. It's getting tougher and tougher as I move on throughout 2017, but I'm doing the best I can with that. Um, but yeah, today's match, I'm going to be using Mega Mega Sham. There was an event where you can get Mega Mawile, Mega Drill, Mega Organo, Mega Mega Sham. You can punch in the code and take a make into the mystery gift option, and you can get those Mega Stones. Um, to pair up with Mega Mega Sham, I have a Fire EMZ Power Magmortar set. We have a uh, Shiny Magnazone, a Celebrator, the Salamence, the Hong Claws set. Didn't really use that very much. We have a uh, Tapuhini. And all those guys. My opponent has a lot of dragons. So starting out with Tapu Fini, who's a water fairy type, it's going to be a great matchup. Um, he actually starts off with Absol. But he's also weak to uh, fairy type moves there. So I'm going to start out with Tapu Fini. Get the Misty Surge going. I knew he was going to switch out into Melodic. Um... But I wanted to just not over predict on the turn one. And plus, I can just stay in on my like. I don't think my like can do much to me uh, outside of, you know, Dragon Pulse or anything like that. But Dragon Pulse is ineffective. So obviously, there's really nothing that my like can do against uh, Copy Fini. So, what I've decided to do here. Since my opponent is really locked up at this point of the match, we're going to go for Calm Mind and then a plus one boosted Moon Blast. I'm hoping to raise, or I mean, lower its special attack a few stages, but in the end, I don't get them. It does not matter in the end, which is fine. Um, this is actually a more bulky, yeah, more bulky uh, Tapu Phoenix set. Because I'm I'm trying to get more bulky Pokemon. Realizing that I'm just getting a lot of physical attackers and special attackers. Uh, oh, there we go. We get a special attack up. So we at least get one of those. But like I was saying, I wanted to make more bulky Pokemon to be part of my matches. So that they can take hits a lot better. It doesn't really demonstrate that much in this video. But we can see... Just, you know, Tapu Fini is being really useful so far. And I'm going to need Tapu Fini because it's one of my main win conditions for this match. Now, as I'm rambling on, uh, we do take out Melodic, which is great. I did have Magnazone because, you know, Magnazone is part electric. I could have used him, but... Tapu Fini is a legendary or an ultra beast. You can handle it one on one. Here's Miss Magus, and oh my goodness, I haven't faced a Miss Magus. I know what they can carry. I wanted to scare him with Sucker Punch, but as I feared, he has Nasty Plot. And uh, that is unfortunate because I only have eight uh, Nasty Plot boots, so I can, or eight. I have eight sucker punches, and he has more than eight nasty plots he can go for. So it's going to be a tight battle as far as trying to hit him with a few sucker punches. I end up misclicking a few times. For example, I go with an earthquake. 
that was just a dumb, you know, a dumb misplay. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to go in for the sucker punches. Doesn't work. My opponent is trying to wear it out. But I maxed out my sucker punches. In the end, I'm going to win that battle, which is fantastic. In return, I'm going to lose my Kamala because we all saw Miss Magnus setting up a nasty plot. But that's okay, because I can go into Mega Jam here. Mega Evolve and click the Bullet Punch. For those who don't know, Bullet Punch is a priority move. Therefore, I will go first. So, I mean, Miss Magus did what I had to do in the match, set up a few times and KO my uh, Kamala, but that's all it's going to do. Now, here he goes with the Salamence, one of the many dragons that he has on his team. Of course, he has Kamala and Dragonite in the back. I make a, I think this is an error on my part. I really should have gone into Tapu Fini again. But I figured I could take on Salamence unless he has Earthquake. Plus one boosted, I'm not going to survive it. This particular Magna Zone does not have Sturdy. It's an Alitic with Thunder Wave, uh, which is interesting because you don't normally want to go with Thunder Wave and not make an Alitic be useless, but it actually works. Uh, it's very complex, but it can work. I go into Salamence there, double out into Tapu Fini, thinking that he might go with a dragon type move. He goes with a dragon dance. I know I can take a plus one earthquake because I EV Tapu Fini where he can take he can take a plus one earthquake. You see that? Look at that, it's half HP, which is okay. I can take that. And then this should KO, but he has HP investment, it looks like. I have max special attack, so here he has a red card. Uh, I don't normally see that, but it works out in my opponent's favor. He goes with a Dragon Claw. I don't outspeed. I don't know if that's a speed tie. You can't really tell, obviously, but yeah, Solomon's doesn't do much. I have yet to use him because it has Home Claws, Draco, Meteor, Fire Blast, and uh, one other move. Oh, Iron Tail. So it's Clearly designed to set up a horn, a, a home cause and uh, just hit with those inaccurate moves. So here's Dragonite, and he goes with a Dragon Dance. Can you see my opponent just doing that this entire match? It's ridiculous. I don't have anyone that can take on a plus one Dragonite. I mean, Salamence was tough enough, but he's got Dragonite. Very unfortunate. Now, I am forced to use another bullet punch there. It's not going to do as much as I thought it would do, but here I go to Bag Mortar, praying that he might miss a Dragon Rush, and that's the cost of Dragon Rush. You will miss it at times, obviously, so this will give my Bag Mortar a free over, uh, I guess, in front of overdrive there. It's his uh, Z power. And the sheer power of that move is going to finish off Dragonite. So, awesome. That's a huge threat out of the way. Now, here is Absol. I'm like, I could switch out into Tapu Fini because that's who I've got. I can really take on my opponent's team. But I'm like, eh, let's just go for another Fire Blast and KO him. Unless he has a Sash, he does not have it. This is where I lose the game. He has a Kamala with another Dragon Dance. I don't know where he's getting those moves, because it's like, ugh, it's too much to handle. I thought I had Hidden Power Ice, but clearly it's not. So I pretty much gave the match to my opponent. I might have been able to live a plus one attack with Magmortar, but plus two, Clearly, it's not going to cut it, I guess, because he went with another Sky Uppercut there. And then my Tapu Fini is going to be blown away with a plus two Poison Jab, 
which is super effective against fairies. Don't remember that. But that was still a great match. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the match. I had fun with this match because I wanted to use Mega Mega Sham. And I did a great job with Mega Mega Sham. It's just the other Pokemon that were really scared off by the dragons setting up. I just have to be wary of that next time. But if you guys enjoyed the match, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see you next time. All right, see ya.